uh, has no business flying over top of the United States of America. And if they are astray, it, let me tell you something. We have to do something. We can't just we can't just say, well, uh, we're sorry and, and let it just go ahead and go over top of the country. Uh, there's rules and regulations to airspace. But I want to tell you that I'm also intrigued that I'm hoping that our government are will not hold back on on what they find. And here's why. Everybody remembers it wasn't very long ago that our government finally came out and said, yeah, there are unidentified flying objects that our pilots see often and are 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 seen doing things that just, you know, it's impossible for us to be able to replicate the movement of some of these unidentified flying objects. You know, when you have something that can go here and then go this way and this way and this way in the sky, planes don't do that. You know, nothing nothing in uh, that we have goes one direction and could stop on a dime and then go another direction. Nobody has anything like that unless we know that uh, uh, or, or unless there's other governments that have have been able to accomplish something like that and have just kept it quiet. But once again, I mean, we understand that now there are things that, that they don't have any uh, idea of how, uh, you know, these these I, these objects, uh, how, uh, where they come from. You know what? What? What's their makeup? So I'm I'm interested in the finding out what they shot down over top of uh, Alaska, what they shot down uh, in in Canada over northern Canada, and now I'm I'm sure that it's only a matter of time before somebody shoots down this thing over top of uh, Montana. I'm interested because I want to know.